So often we long for the presence of God in our lives, the way that we see God appearing in the Bible stories that we read. We want to encounter a God of power. We want to know there is a God who by the force of his hand can close the mouths of lions for the safety of his servants. We want to believe there's not only a creator who'd care enough to protect three teenage boys in a fiery furnace, but could and would come right down there and walk with them. We want a God who shows up. Sometimes we don't act for God. Sometimes we hesitate in being bold for God because we're just not sure that his hand would be there to protect us. Sure, we reason that happened in the Bible, but could that also be true today? What would God's protection look like to you? Maybe that we'd always be safe, that we'd never be sick or come to harm. Well, it would be wonderful to have that kind of providential protection, but that's not been my experience. And I'm reason reasonably sure that it's not been yours. So then what are we saying? That if we ever encounter hardship, it means that God has abandoned us? Well, I guess some people feel that way, don't they? Lots of people wash their hands of God when they run into a situation they feel that God should have prevented. They decide that God isn't worth believing in. But I expect that there may also have been episodes in your life when looking back, you could clearly see the hand of God in things. There might've been times that you had a near miss with a catastrophe or Perhaps a, another extraordinary event changed the way things went for you. Looking back, you can see God guiding your path, protecting you, even though at the time you might have been completely unaware. I invite you to think about those times you've experienced God's protection. As we hear more about the extraordinarily persistent faith of someone who became known throughout China, as God's small woman, Gladys Alward.